So today we're going to run through exactly where double exposures come from, how they work, how you can do them in camera, and we'll send you on your way with some creative inspiration so you have some great ideas to start taking in-camera double exposures. You want to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to give away three leather culture kiwi camera straps to people who submit some double exposures of their own. It's going to be a fun one, so let's get going. Wait, where did he go? Well, I guess I'll have to take the camera home then. Far out. Now I realised this film needed to be made after searching for inspiration on double exposures online. And basically all of the images look the same. I was guilty of it myself. You basically take or make a silhouette of yourself in Photoshop, add in some trees or mountains as a layer below that, put in a multiply blend layer and boom, you're an artist. Well today we're going to look at how you can do this in camera and get some truly creative results. Let's start with learning where double exposures come from. Like everything else in the world of photography, they start in film. People would shoot their first run through of a roll of film, taking photos of all the different subjects. They would then rewind that film all the way back to the start and then shoot that roll all over again, taking photos of different textures to overlay them onto those subjects. Now there were a lot of problems with this because it's very hit and miss. Rewinding it perfectly to overlap the first run through and the second run through is incredibly difficult. Often you would just ruin an entire roll of film. To get it right, you'd have to be a master of exposure. And to understand that properly, we're gonna to have to head into the kitchen. Let's go there now. And welcome to the kitchen. Why are we in the kitchen, you ask? Well, taking a double exposure is a lot like a glass of water. We think of an empty glass as completely underexposed and a full glass as completely overexposed. So when we take the first image, we want to leave areas underexposed where we want to have plenty more information to fill it with the second photo and where we don't want any information from the second photo to show up, we can try to overexpose those areas. If you fill your glass in the first pour, there's no room to add any more. So how do we do double exposures? Simple. With a Fuji camera, there's a setting at the top where you can switch to double exposures. You then line up and take your first exposure. It will then give you three options. You can push left to retry, push OK to move on to the next shot, or back to exit. Exiting will save that shot as a single image. So we're happy with that, we're going to click OK and move on to the next shot. You can then see your image overlaid above the second image that you want to shoot. So we line this up and we take our second shot here in the trees. And there we have it, that's our first double exposure taken on a Fuji camera. Now with Canon cameras, it's slightly different. We hit the picture settings here, we go straight into multiple exposure. You select here, on function control. You then have a number of different options you can use. You have to try and experiment with each one to see what's better. You can save the number of exposures. It saves all of the images. And what we could do here, which is interesting, is select the image we want to start with. So here's this banger of a selfie I just took. We can select that, hit OK. We can then get ready to shoot. We hit live view and we see the overlay of my beautiful head there. We can then take a picture of the boat there. See it fits with my hat there nicely. And once it's finished, we can see we have a double exposure with my head in a boat. So maybe I'm thinking about boats. Well we know how to do it, but we need some creative inspiration you're saying. So I brought you here to an open field with some fantastic views of Stratford in the distance. You might remember those buildings in front of me from an Instagram photo I took. Link it on the screen now. And it's the perfect place to give you some inspiration to get started on your journey to perfect double exposures. For the first photo, I'm going to take a line of the city here in the distance to mark the bottom third of the frame. 
I'm then going to click OK, flip the camera upside down, and take a second image of the city to mark the bottom third of the frame. Creative inspiration number one. Now for image number two, I'm going to take a photo of the building in the distance, and the second photo is going to be a slightly out of focus version of that photo. The same photo in the same location, it gives the buildings a lovely ethereal glow. For the third photo, I'm going to superimpose this felt heart that I found at home. Right in between the slot and the trees there, you can see. Let's see how that looks. So for the last option here, I'm going to do an absolute classic. A nice double exposure with both myself and myself in the frame. Me vlogging to myself and myself disappointed with myself for vlogging. <laughs> Now remember, these ideas are just the beginning. The limit is truly your own imagination. Just start experimenting and you'll be amazed with what you can come up with. I've left some more options at culturedkiwi.com slash double exposure, all one word. If you're interested in learning some more techniques or some more inspiration, there's a whole bunch there. The sun's almost gone and this video is almost over. If you want to get involved in the competition, you can head to my Instagram, at Ben Kipka. Make sure you follow me. Look for this image of a double exposure. Head on down to the comments, leave a little comment saying I took a double exposure or something like that. I'll go through and pick three people at random and send them a camera strap wherever you are in the world. Again, if you like the video, please hit like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments or want me to make an upcoming video about something, leave it down below and I'll get onto it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. It's been fun.